So this question looks like it has a circle and a square here. Let's read the question to see what's happening and what we're asked to determine. So the question says, in the figure shown, point O is the center of the circle. One vertex of the square lies on the circle, which we see right here. And the opposite vertex is point O. Yes, we see that there. If the area of the shaded region is 36 pi minus 18, so I don't see anything shaded here, so I'm not sure if I just have a bad version of this test. But let's see if we can figure this out. If the area of the shaded region is 36 pi minus 18, that must mean that the circle is shaded. Here's why I'm going to say that. So the area of a circle is pi r squared. So if the radius of the circle was equal to 6, which the question hasn't told us, but if the radius of the circle was equal to 6, that would make the area of the circle equal to 36 pi. If I then subtract the area of the square, if I say this is 18, if I subtract the area of the square, then that means that we'd be looking at a shaded region or area that includes everything that I'm shading in here, right, exclusive of the square. Now, what does that tell me about my square? Well, that tells me that if the, rate, the area of the square is 18, then that tells me that each side of this square is square root 18. Or we could think of it as, right, because square root 18 can be simplified to square root 9 times square root 2. Square root 9 is 3, so 3 root 2. So I could say that every side of my square is really a 3 root 2. What's this question asking? If the area of the shaded region is 36 pi minus 18, what is the perimeter of the square? Okay, well, the perimeter of the square will just be 3 root 2 because that's one side of the square, times 4. I'm not sure why I did it to the left, but it still works. So because there's four sides, right? Every side is this 3 root 2. So that would give me an answer that is 12 root 2. And I'm fairly confident that choice C, therefore, is the correct answer. So I'm not sure how I got a version of this test that doesn't have any shading at all. Um, it's kind of weird. But... Hopefully what you have does have shading, and if you have the same version of the test that I have and you're also unsure as to how to answer this question, you'll see how I reasoned this out. 36 pi, pi, pi comes from the area of a circle, so 36 pi must come from that. How do I get 36? Well, that means my R must have been 6, right? So that's the first part. And then if I'm subtracting something and I'm saying that only some part of this diagram is shaded, then it can only be either the what's inside the square which really wouldn't make sense here, or what's outside the square. So by subtracting 18, that's basically saying that I'm subtracting the area of the square in order to focus your attention on only the shaded part outside the square. So if you have any questions, please do leave a comment, and I'll hopefully clear them up for you.